Come with me as I have a little look around Marks and Spencers and see what's new in store. As you can imagine, because of the time of year, there were a lot of coats in store. Trench coats, quite a few bomber style jackets. I saw a few crop style jackets. I spotted this cropped aviator style jacket, which is a designer dupe of a Victoria Beckham one. Now I did see this camel coat and I like the look of this. It's single breasted with two buttons and it's mid calf length. So I picked one of these up. I mean, there's so many ways that a camel coat can be worn. I did like it how they showed it in store. It was worn over the top of a black waistcoat and some black trousers. So that's how I've put it together here. And I've just added a little red bag to it. This black waistcoat, it does come from Marks and Spencers as well. I picked this up in store. It's not too low cut, although the armholes are a little bit low you can see your bra so you definitely need to wear a black bra underneath it and with the outfit i'm also wearing some leopard print shoes these are 29 pounds 50 and they're vegan they've got very pointed toes and a pointed vamp and the fabric has got a slight sheen to it these are okay but i have seen nicer leopard print shoes there were still quite a few waistcoats in store even though we're going into the colder months i saw this set here i like the color of these Unfortunately, the longer waistcoats don't generally suit me. You really need to have long legs to wear these or wear heels. Otherwise, they can end up making your legs look a little bit short. Marks and Spencers do do a very good job of recreating the trends. I showed you this jacket on my community wall a few days ago, which is a very good dupe of a designer one. The designer ones, I think something like £810. This Marks and Spencers one is around £75, I think. Unfortunately, I didn't see it in the store though, but I did see this jacket. It's a cropped barn jacket. And according to British Vogue, these are the outerwear style to cover it. They're really handy if you do live a very outdoorsy kind of life. I love the look of this one and I did actually try it on, but unfortunately it didn't particularly suit me very well. Another jacket I saw in store, which I liked, was this blazer. It's a houndstooth print and fitted. And although it kind of looks like a traditional black and cream print, it's actually got blue running through it. So it's a little bit different. In the store and online, they've, they've paired it with another print, but I wasn't really keen on that. I wanted to put it together with colours that really blend with the print. So in this look here, I've, I'm wearing a short sleeve top from Goelia. I showed you this in my previous video. The color goes so well with this print. And then on the bottom, I've put it together with a denim skirt. This I picked up in Marks and Spencers. It's a midi length and it's got a split up the front. And the denim is quite a light wash. I would say this comes up quite big actually. I got this in a size 8 regular length and there's still quite a bit of room in there and there's no way I'm a size 6. So if you were thinking about getting this skirt, I would size down. I don't know if you remember this look, which I showed in one of my videos in the Autumn Outfit series. I absolutely love this colour and I happen to see that Marks and Spencers have got one. On camera, it looks a little bit like a lilac, but it's actually what I would call perhaps a, a cornflower blue. It's a lovely colour. Now, I did want to try pairing it with a skirt, just like this image here. And I, I found one from Marks and Spencers, but yeah, it didn't really work. So instead, I've put it together with the denim skirt and the check blazer and put it together with some old knee-high boots that I've got. This was £25. I also tried the blazer and skirt combination with some flat shoes. Now again, I showed you these on my community wall. These are such a terrific colour. They're a ballerina with a strap over the top and these do have some cushioning inside and a little heel. So they're actually quite comfortable to wear and because of the colour, they're just so versatile. I spotted this coat in store, which I like the look of. It's actually part of the Jaeger range. I think it was around about £175. It's navy blue, double breasted, and it is pure wool. I thought this could be a very versatile coat for the winter. It could be quite easily layered underneath and would look lovely worn over a roll neck and paired with some really beautiful scarves. I did see it on the model and they'd put it together with some burgundy and what a terrific colour combination that is. There were quite a few bits and pieces in the colour green and not in khaki green, it was more of a kind of like a forest green. I love the skirt and top combination and this would look gorgeous paired with burgundy. 
So I did pick these pieces up. I've paired them together very simply with a pair of knee-high boots. I don't think they are actually a set, but the colour is identical. You can't actually tell the difference. The top is a lovely shape. It's got a V-neckline, which is very flattering. It's got a collar and you can actually wear it tucked in or worn loose. And this would look gorgeous, worn with some perhaps black jeans or black trousers. Another way I tried it is with a brown faux leather skirt. Now this is an A-line skirt. It is faux leather and you can tell that it's not real, but it's a good alternative. It's got a reasonably wide waistband and it does up with a zip at the back. It isn't lined, but the inside of the fabric is coated with another fabric, so it's very soft to wear. This skirt does suit different styles of tops. I have tried it with a white shirt, a classic white shirt, with the camel coat. Together it makes quite a nice work outfit. It does also suit a turtleneck. So I've put the outfit together with a cream turtleneck from Lily Silk and again the brown boots. Because of the style of the skirt, the jumper looks best if it's not overly baggy. Not necessarily really tight fitting, but at least with a little bit of form. While I was in the store, I also saw a green dress, which I quite like the look of. It is tight fitting, but it has been quite cleverly designed. There's some ruching around the tummy area, which does give a little bit of extra coverage. The skirt has also been sewn together in ways that flatter the body and is a great length too. Like with the green skirt and top, I did try the dress with some knee-high boots, the same boots as I wore before. Midi dresses always look so terrific paired together with knee-high boots at this time of year. These are a little bit too light in colour I think but a pair of black boots or a darker brown pair of boots would work and I think you could probably get away with some burgundy boots as well. I love this colour green with camel so for outerwear the dress could be worn with the camel coat. Now I have a real pet hate. I do not like midi dresses hanging below the coat. Half an inch to perhaps an inch is okay but any more than that in my opinion it spoils the outfit. But the beauty of this dress is that you can actually just tuck it up a little bit and fold over the upper part of the dress so you can get it to just the right level. And then when it comes time to take the coat off, you can just quickly pull the dress down. As well as with the camel coat, it also looks gorgeous with a trench coat, a beige colored trench coat. In some ways, this goes better because of the color of the boots. So it all pairs really nicely together. Although this coat is a little bit longer than the camel coat, the dress still does hang below it. So I've done the same thing. I've just folded it over slightly. If I felt the dress was gonna drop as soon as I started walking, I would just add a very thin little belt that, that I could use to fold the dress over the top and something that I could take off very quickly when I take my coat off. Marks and Spencers do always have a great selection of denim in store. And I love the fact that you can get them in different leg lengths. They have all the latest trends in jeans, but I spotted these cream style wide leg jeans. I find cream is a little bit easier to wear into the autumn and perhaps into the winter as well. It's a little bit more subtle and not quite as bright. These are a wide leg, but they're not really, really baggy. And because of the width of the ankle, you could put the jeans together with some chunky cream style boots, perhaps a cream roll neck, and it would look gorgeous layered with the cropped aviator jacket that I showed you from earlier. It would make a terrific winter's outfit. I've just put it together with this cream knit cardigan. It is a cropped cardigan and it's in the boucle fabric. This is so warm and cosy. I think it is more designed to wear buttoned up like a sweater, but of course you could wear it undone and worn open like a cardigan. I did try the jeans with the check blazer with the same top underneath from Goelia. All the colors blend quite well. And then I added a burgundy bag. Burgundy looks terrific with creams and with checks. So it goes quite well with this outfit. Another way I tried the jeans is with the black waistcoat that I showed you before. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be able to wear it like this as we go into the colder months, but it's a potential outfit perhaps for next year. I love the look of this crop jacket, which I saw when I was in store. It's very similar to the Goelia one that I showed you in my recent video. It's got a sequin thread running through it. So it's got a little bit of sparkle to it. They paired it in store, both with some blue jeans, some blue skinny jeans, and with some smarter black trousers and some, and some black Mary Janes. I love both of these looks. 
Instead of picking up one of these, I actually found this shorter sleeve jacket in a very similar style, cropped with buttons down the front. This is more of a top than a jacket, so you will need some other kind of outerwear to wear over the top. I like these jackets worn with black trousers, either a wide leg or a straight leg, and with some black shoes. I'm wearing flat ballerinas from Dream Pairs and the bag I've put it together is my usual Teddy Blake Kim bag. The trousers could do with being taken up just a fraction. They're just a tad too long, but for the purpose of the video, it does create quite a nice, smart looking outfit. 